Greetings, in this video I'm going to help you troubleshoot a rechargeable charging port that is no longer working or a battery, a rechargeable battery that's no longer working, whether that be a AAA battery or a AA battery. Basically it's the same concept and it doesn't matter what brand that you have. So for example I have an Energizer here on my left hand, I have a Power Owl in my right hand, but it doesn't matter if you have a Rayovac, if you have a Duracell, Amazon Basics, you get the picture that basically this works with the same kind of concept. The issue could be either with your battery itself, and it doesn't matter if it's a newer battery or an older battery. Yes, they do wear out, the rechargeable batteries do. Some are lithium, some are alkaline, some are uh, metal, uh, nickel metal uh, batteries, and they all vary as far as how many ports are in it. So for example, this one has eight. The Rayovac, I think, has six. The Energizer has four, Duracell has four and eight. Again, multiple different ones. So you want to concentrate on two things, the battery itself, and of course you can have multiple batteries, right? Rechargeable batteries, and then you have different ports. So the Energizer, for example, I have in my hand here, has four ports. It will charge the AA, like this, but it'll also will charge the AAA on the, sm on the smaller part. And what will happen is when I plug this in, the Energizer, what will happen is it will turn, it'll turn uh, red. And then when I plug a battery in, it will turn green when it's fully charged. It will stay red until it is completely charged. Now, the Power Owl is run by a USB. So, for example, if I plug this one up here, this will be a USB that I plug up to my laptop or my desktop. As you can see here, I'll plug it up. And plug in my battery. And so you'll find the majority of them. Plug in my battery. And so as you can see there, that one's red. You want to find that the majority of the, the, the charging ports will be green if it's fully charged. And then it will turn red once it is... Uh, once it's uh, not charged. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. It'll be it'll be red. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. Some of them, when they don't work, it'll stay green, or it could actually stay red and never turn green again. You'll have some like the Energizer that will actually give an arrow sound it'll beep 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 over and over again so what i want you to do is first troubleshoot the bays itself so it is a possibility that you might have one bay that's not working or you might have two bays that's not working so i want you to take one of your batteries while it's plugged in and go to each bay and see if it will start charging if it doesn't work on that bay try another bay it's a possibility that one of the bays are defective. That doesn't mean that you still can't charge your batteries. Just use every bay except the one that's defective. So basically you'll go through all four. Same thing with another one. You would go through all eight until it starts charging. And then you can, you can deduce that one of the bays is not working any longer. All right, now if you've gone through all four bays and none of them are charging the battery, it's a possibility that your battery is bad. So what I want you to do is get another battery and see if it will work. If it does work, then you know that the first one that you put in is a bad battery, so you could basically toss it. Now it also might be a possibility that your batteries are so weak and drained, let's say if you're charging four at one time, your batteries are so weak and drained that the unit itself does not have enough power in order to charge all four batteries. So what you would need to do is, let's say if I'm charging four batteries, I would take up, take out two of them and only charge two at a time. And then if you see that you're char charging two at a time, then you know that your batteries are just so drained that you need to concentrate on one or two. If two doesn't work, just try one until it's fully charged. And then you get the picture, you just basically charge them one or two at a time in order for them to get, to, get a full charge. Now, like I said, this Energizer has the plug-in with the wall but I have this one that's plugged in with a with a USB-C. So if it's not fully charging and you've got one that's used with a USB cord, 
try to actually get another USB-C or power cord and try to charge it up like that. If it's not fully uh, powering with your with your USB port to your computer or your laptop, it could be that that USB port does not have enough power. It might be a 2.0. So try plugging it into another device like another USB port or a laptop. And you could also try hooking it up directly to the wall if it's a USB version. So basically you can see here I'm plugging up to a little wall USB wall mount where I can plug it in directly to the wall and that might actually fix your problem if you're not getting enough power uh, with it going straight to a computer or a laptop. Now if all else fails and you have some batteries that are that you know are dead I want to show you the nuclear auction to maybe get them to work again. It's a technique I learned in the 80s and it will work with most batteries. So what I want you to do is take your battery and actually place it into a freezer, a cold freezer and I want you to leave it there overnight. You can leave it there from 12 to 24 hours, it doesn't matter. You have nothing to lose because you're about to toss the battery into the trash. Go ahead and put it in the freezer, let it sit for hours, take it back out, let it warm to, to room temperature, and then plug it back into your charger and see if it will start charging again. You may find that the freezer method will work to get your batteries that you thought were dead and gone to work. All right, if you like videos like this, little how-to videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I'll put a link in the comment section where you can get the Power Owl. I found that this is one of the most affordable ones that I have found on Amazon. So I'll put a link on Amazon where you can get the Power Owl. And you can get AAA and you can get AA with Power Owl. All right, thanks again.